welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and in this episode we are going to have a look at Selfish OS again. In this case we have a look at a little tweak I found for the browser that might help somebody, maybe not, but uh, we will see. If you like it more yeah, data protected, let's say, then this might be something for you. And um, yeah, in the end, what we are going to use in this episode, of course, is we are going to use my Sony Xperia 10 Mark III, which is this smartphone here. And I have my laptop with me, which is going to stream this to the big screen. And there is a screencast running on my laptop, which is going to show us everything that is being, uh, that is more or less on my smartphone screen. Um, Screencast is actually not running on my laptop as I told you just now, but it's running on my smartphone and my laptop is just accessing Screencast or the web server that is produced by Screencast on my smartphone and is going to show you the content of that. So, um, as you already can see, we are going to have a look at the browser here and the problem with the browser is for in, or there are a couple of different smaller problems which, yeah, there are a couple of different workarounds for. And yeah, let's first off go to my screen here, smartphone screen. As you can see, it's the same one. If I do something, you should see that it's happening, but there might be a little bit of a lag between that. That's normal. It has to do with the screencast technology, not with the smartphone itself. The smartphone itself is pretty smooth, so very smooth, I would say. And um, yeah, everything that is delayed on the display here, that is just because of the technology we are using to produce it to the big screen, okay? So, first off, I'm going to just turn around and show you both, so you can see that everything, or what is going on on my smartphone is the same as on the big screen, but you can see it in both scenarios or whatever, or better to say in both situations. So the big screen one, which is, yeah, a little bit laggy, but still better to see, and this one, which of course should work all the time, but yeah, maybe sometimes I'm just going to not show it to the camera or something because I'm just working with it. And so you can still see it on the big screen. Okay, so first off, uh, what is the problem with the browser? So the stock browser, there are many people use something like Firefox or, or Mal browser, or there are different kinds of ones, um, especially the ones with the Gecko engine that I would recommend, all are fine, but the stock browser itself um, runs, of course, on systems which don't have the commercial license, for instance, so the AD version on it. And in this case, the good thing about it is that we can treat the browser a little bit better to work in a bit, little bit better way. So, um, yeah, what you will experience if you open it up is, of course, that it's always loading the last site, for instance. And that might not be what you want to do. So this is a website, uh, one of mine with a little a game on it, doesn't matter. Um, in the end, um, you don't want always to, to load the last website before you are going to do anything. And there are yeah, more or less a setting for that that you can activate. So go to the, the um, burger menu at this point here. And um, if you go down, you can see that you can scroll in this. So it's a little bit hard to see sometimes because there's no indication or real indication that you can scroll, but you can. And if you do that, you can go to the settings down below here. And the first thing I would recommend you to do is of course, yeah, search with something you like. Um, in this case, I'm using Ecosia, just to let you know if you want to, uh, to have different search engines here. Um, at the start, you are probably not going to see everything that you see for, at my place here, for instance. That is because uh, you always have to navigate to one of the websites you see here. So if you, for instance, want to have, let's say, Ecosia as your main, um, as your main search engine or something, you will have to go to Ecosia first and um, just open that up to be able to bring it into this list. And maybe if you're going to uh, for DuckDuckGo or whatever, I'm not sure. So a couple of different things you can uh, do here if you want to. Then you will have to open the website once and the website is now communicating to your browser, hey, I'm a, a search engine, so please add me to this list. And after that, you can use it and just yeah, set it up to be installed. It's only an information that you see there. It's not installed at this moment if you if you don't only see it there, it's only if you click on it and after that, it's going to be installed there. Um, I'm using Ecosia, I'm fine with that. If you want to use, for instance, DuckDuckGo, Clunt, or whatever it is, 
um, then you can of course do that too. Other than that, um, what we really want to do here is of course we want to have the first option here, all tabs um, to be closed after, clo uh, after closing the browser itself. So activate this one. This would be that really everything is just not restarting if you are going to this web, uh, to the, uh, the part here again. So if I go out now, so I'm going to close this browser down like this and I'm just reopening it. We should no longer see the last website. We are now in this uh, situation here. Problem with that is you would see your, your um, chronic here, but of course I'm not really having a chronic because I'm just not uh, keeping that and told him to not have a chronic. Problem is um, you now can't access anything. So for instance, where are the settings here? You can't go to them without opening up one of the websites. So these are the favorites. And the good thing about the favorites is we can use something here that is yeah, not loading any kind of website, but will give us all the different options that are normally available if you open a website. So for instance, this is my website. If I click on that and go here, then you can see we have that as a favorite. You can see that at the bottom there, the little star that is uh, yeah, filled more or less tells you this is a favorite. And this is a thing we are going to use um, because it's a Gecko-based browser, so we can just click and put in about a blank in this case. So if you do that, and generally you are running to an empty website, there's nothing to be loaded here or something. And um, this one, we are going to put into our favorite list. So if we do that, um, now we have that in our favorites. So let's go to our favorites. Let's see how I go there. I think if I close down this, I should see it. Yeah. Here we go, and as you can see, we now have an um, uh, about blank uh, yeah, bookmark, more or less. And the bookmark, we can see here, can be accessed again. And this is very, very helpful because now we don't have to open up anything to go to the settings. So, as mentioned before, we already have in there that he's not going to reload the last page. So, at the start, we are just seeing our, our start screen, whatever you wanted to call it. But you can now go to about blank and open it up and as you can see nothing is loaded and now if you want to start with a private browser session or something you can just click here and now you are in the private mode and this is more or less what we wanted to do here and um, yeah like this of course you can now search for an address or something and go there into private mode without it problem with this is of course you can't do that with uh, with for instance a link in an app or something so you can't open that in the private mode which it's a little bit yeah, this uh, this satisfying, but I really can't do much about it. I already tried something, but the problem is that not all of the different settings, which are available in the normal Firefox, for instance, but not all of them are really yeah put through to uh, to uh, selfish, so we can't use it. One of the good things would be about config. I'm going to open this up, and as you can see, we have now a lot of different options here. It's really many, many, many things you can do. You can already see there's this, this bar which is running there. And um, it's really, really many, many different things. Problem about all this is that you really can't, uh, can't do most of them. Some, are, some may work, some may not work, but not all of them are configured with the browser. And yeah, in general, it would be very, very great. There's some setting in there. I, I would have to search for it. It's, it's something like, um, yeah, start always in private mode or something like that, um, which is configurable in here, but it's not really put through to be used in Safish Rares. That's a little bit, yeah, disappointing, but it's like that. I would highly recommend uh, Yola to, to yeah, give us some kind of option to, to activate it like this. But till now, Yola is doing that, we can now use this mode here to go to the private mode go and surf through different websites and stuff like that. And of course, you can always copy out some kind of a link from an app or something or another web page if you want to put it into a private mode 
before you do that. Or for instance, out of a mail or something, that's probably the best way. I'm not sure if you can always copy stuff in an, in an app, but in the end, in a mail or something, email or SMS or whatever you're getting, you could, uh, you are able to really use that and gen then just use that string and put it in here and I go like this in the private mode to that website. That's more or less what I wanted to show you. Um, it's going to help you a little bit. Of course, if you want to open this even faster, the private mode, or better to say the browser itself, you can use this, um, this part here and put it very important. First, make a, a browser setting or a, yeah, whatever, this kind of, of uh, bookmark after, if you're not doing that, you're not be, going to be able to put it into the, the grid part there, in some situations at least. But if you do it like this, now we can put uh, click on that and put it to the grid. And now you are going to see that you can't save this at the moment. And this is because there is no kind of protocol available. But the good thing about this is go to the address here. And even so it doesn't make any kind of difference or whatever, you can just put in HTTP double double dot. I'm not even sure what that is whatever, so like this. And I wouldn't recommend you to go with HTTPS. In general, it's better to do that, but since about blank is, al is already something that is done on your, your uh, system anyway, it doesn't really matter because um, you already know where you are going to connect to it yourself. So it's not a really big problem. But do it always like this. If you now click on save, and now, if you scroll down, you can see there is about blank. Nix Laden is more or less what I uh, created before that. But in the end, if you click on about blank now, and you can now choose which, uh, uh, which app you want to use to open it. Now you can see that your browser is starting. Problem is, it's probably not going to start especially or already on this page. That's just not possible for some reason. But in the end, you could do it like this. So you are reminded at least that you have to do it and go to that. So as mentioned before, these are a little bit of the drawbacks you might experience here. So in the end, about blank is just a uh, little information for you to be able to, or to know what you have to open up. It's not really a browser link to about blank or something because that doesn't seem to be possible in this case. Yeah. And this is more or less what I wanted to show you. It's really, oh, I just, no, 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 just close that down. No, thank you. There we go. Um, I just hit a couple of different uh, different apps when I, I moved around. Uh, in the end, this is more or less what I wanted to show you. It's really just a little small hack or tweak you can do and where you might gain a little bit of privacy risk. So just try it out. It's probably working. And if not, and if you need something else, then I would recommend you to go for instance for Firefox Focus or something like that. Or yeah, the Mal browser uh, seems to be a good one too. And uh, just use these if you have AD. If you don't have it, then this is probably one of the better options for you. So try this one out till uh, Yola is going to add a private mode to the browser so you can open it like in the private mode before anything is starting, which would be the much better way. I highly recommend Yola to do that, but of course I'm not a developer at, the, at Yola or something, so I can't really tell them what to do. Yeah, and other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. It's pretty much a lightning storm out there, like it seems, but whatever. And have a great day anyway, hopefully for you it's not raining all the day. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. If you liked this, uh, this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you, of course, didn't subscribe to not to the channel, do it now. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions or something that you can add to this whole topic so that probably it's a little bit better after that or something, then put it down below into the commentary section. I am going to answer you, yeah, very likely at least. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a great time, have a great day and see you around. Bye. Bye.